today's role-playing video, the nerd gets revenge on her bully. Okay, girly, a little to the left, now a step to the right. Incoming person, person, stop. Okay, now you can walk again. Thanks, guy. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have you for my eyes. Well, for one, I wouldn't ever get to finish this chapter. The new science textbooks could be so entertaining. Said nobody ever. Okay, you have an incoming open locker on your left, so steer clear of that. You really are a pal. Although, I would have to say, advise you to put down your book and watch where you're walking? Don't be silly. I can walk and read at the same time. Did you know that multitasking actually splits the brain? It divides and conquers, so we can actually do two tasks at once. Fascinating, but I would still watch out if I were you. Why? Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, watch where you're walking, nerd. Yeah, can't you see out of those four eyes? Did you hear that one, Ashley? <laughs> My god, Ayla, your need for approval is getting tiring. Sorry, Ashley, I'll work on it for sure. But the nerd. I'm not quite finished with her yet. Ooh, really sorry to interrupt you in the middle of bullying me, Ashley. But this textbook is just so gripping and I have 87 words left on this page and I really gotta finish. But that is just a rough estimate because I need to get the prescription and my glasses checked. Carly, stop giving her material to work with! Oh, are you reading that book? Hey, give that back! There's nothing worse than losing your place on the page! Come on, Ashley, just give it back! Isn't the whole bullying the nerd cliche thing over? You wish. Now, let's see what book you were reading since it's so important to you. Yeah, Ashley, let's see. No, you can't. That's a science textbook and we have science next. What if I miss something that's on a quiz? <gasps> My book on the dirty school floor. Do you know how much bacteria lives on these tiles? Oh, no, Ayla, her book. What are we going to do? <laughs> Come on, Ayla, let's go. Smile you later, losers. Moments later. Oh, yeah. She ruined my book. What happens if we have a pop quiz today? And there was something that I specifically needed from that book. And now I don't have it, so I'm gonna fail. What would the odds of that be? I don't know odds as well as you do, but I think that it's more likely that it would be a huge coincidence, and I don't think that's gonna happen. But what if it does? Failing a pop quiz would definitely knock my GPA off of a 4.0. And you know Harvard doesn't care if your bully ruined your book. They expect excellence. I still think you can relax. Just a touch. Good morning my scientist who was ready for a day filled of discovery. Oh God, please don't be a pop quiz. Please don't be a pop quiz. Now, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but I think you're all going to like what I have in store for you today. Here it comes. I can already tell. Well, I can just go ahead and kiss my Harvard dreams goodbye. Really? could you just let the man speak? So, instead of a pop quiz today, I thought it would be fun if you all came up with your own personal science experiments. <gasps> no pop quiz? And we get to come up with our own experiment? Oh my gosh, what if I create something so amazing that I win a Nobel Prize? This is too exciting. I cannot wait to come up with my own experiment. Excuse me, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. Yes, Mackenzie? Can we do, like, any experiment that we want? You know, of course, that we include the prediction, forming the hypothesis, and recording the effective variable. <laughs> Nerd alert! Yes, that is all fine. For this experiment, I want you to focus more on coming up with something of your own rather than forming a hypothesis. Oh, of course. I'll still form a hypothesis, though. I mean, how can I not? Mr. Teacher Man, sir. Yes, Ashley. Is it okay to make a potion that will de-nerd Mackenzie? I think that de-nerdification is crucial if she ever wants to have a social life. <laughs> Don't worry, Ashley. You already did the project. Like Ursula in The Little Mermaid, you found a way to appear prettier on the outside and not like the sea witch you really are. Oh my god, Ashley! Did you hear that? She said you were pretty! Well, duh! We all know that I'm pretty. So, is that a yes on the potion? It's best to stop her now before she gets older and starts reproducing other nerds into society. Just stop it, okay? Stop teasing me! Um, I'm gonna say no. Also, Ashley, remember, words are like toothpaste. You can't put them back in the tube. Wait! I don't get it. What does any of this have to do with brushing our teeth? Later that same evening. Come on, girly, you have to smile. It's not like you to not be excited about an experiment. No, I am excited about the experiment. How many times have I told you to not take anything Ashley says to heart? About a million. Exactly. So, what do you say we do something that'll make you happy? Like realphabetizing your books or looking at our snacks under the microscope. Nah, I'm not really in the mood. See, that's how I know something's wrong. You never miss an opportunity to find the mitochondria in something. Wait, am I saying that right? Not even close. And I don't know. I know it shouldn't bother me. I just don't understand how these stigmas get started. How do people even become bullies or nerds? When in society did we decide that nerds are going to be picked on? I don't get it. I don't know. Maybe back when there were cavemen, they picked out whichever poor 
caveman wrote the most equations on the cave wall? Who knows who decided this stuff? Who makes up the rules that the cheerleader is gonna be popular and the pretty girl is gonna be a bully? So why do nerds always get such a bad rap? What, for being smart? Do people not know how successful nerds can be when they go on? I think you're thinking way too much into this. If only there was a way to get Ashley and Eli to see what it's like to be a nerd. To really just get revenge on them. <gasps> I got it! Would you care to share this with the rest of the class? Oh, of course. Buckle your seatbelt, my little junior scientist. Because for this experiment, I am going to be making a device that will turn Ashley and Ayla into nerds. Come again? They said they think a denerdification is what is needed. Well, I am going to do just the opposite. When I finish this device, their eyes will start to fail without glasses. Their teeth will start to shift without braces. And all they'll be able to focus on is schoolwork. I'm confused. Is this still about getting revenge on them, or is this what you're actually doing for your class project? Um, both. But how amazing is it that I can get revenge on the bullies and impress Harvard? Well, I'm just happy that you're not bummed out anymore. Sadness is not a good look on you, girly. Oh, I have no reason to be sad, because this time tomorrow, I will have those bullies exactly where I want them. <laughs> wow, I've never heard you cackle before. Cool. Just you wait and see, Sky. Oh, I don't put anything past you, but as long as you're throwing out cool experiments, you want to do one for me, too? A few moments later. Okay before, so I'm not exactly sure on the exact ingredients. But I think adding school pictures of Ashley and Ayla. Oh, and nerd glasses. Oh, and rubber bands for my braces. Yeah, that should be enough. Now I know why evil scientists are always laughing. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Now, what else do I need to add to this potion? Hmm. Aha! I got it. Nothing says true nerd without a book. Aw, this is gonna suck though. To ruin my favorite textbook? Ah, uh, what am I saying? They're all my favorite. Focus, Kenzie. This is for a good cause. If it means losing one book, then so be it. Huh. Okay, this literally just looks like a remote control, but I'm guessing it's the master switch. It will turn those two bullies into nerds as soon as I flick it. Okay, you've had your fun, Ashley. Now you're gonna see what it's like to have wires in your mouth and what it feels like when somebody ruins your favorite book. <laughs> the next morning. Wow. experiment but that's all no you're up to something good morning my little experimenters i cannot wait to see what scientific masterpieces you all have in store for me today oh my god the bell we're gonna be late for class we can't get into any ivy league school for late for class keep running ashley keep running i am but these corrective shoes i have on are really hard to run in hold on hold on i think some of my hair got stuck in my braces and it's pulling oh my god ayla you are such an idiot you're the idiot oh my God. Um, excuse me, loser. I need to sit there. What? This has been my seat literally since the first day of school. Yeah, well, I can't really see from the back, and I need to be close to the board in case it's something important on a test. Ashley, that is Mackenzie's seat. Please take yours so we can get started on the presentation. Well, you know, if your eyes are bothering you, I have something that might help. There you go. Why don't you try these on? They're a bit stronger. Wow, I can see again. This is amazing. Or it would have been if it wasn't from you, freak. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm supposed to believe you didn't have something to do with this. So, who would like to go first for their presentation? Oh, I would. I would. My science experiment was this. I thought I would make something to help everyone embrace their inner nerd. Now, to conduct said experiment, all I needed was a lock of hair, pieces of my braces, my textbook, and an old pair of glasses. Oh my god, my glasses are fogging up again. I can't see. Shut up, Ayla. I want to hear the hypothesis. And I think it's safe to say the results speak for themselves. A few moments later. So you're telling me that that little switch 
mistakes you made and was responsible for turning two of the worst humans into nerds? Basically, the key was to add our class photo into the experiment. Soon as I flicked the switch, they became nerds. The perfect revenge. How is turning them just like you revenge? Because now they can see exactly how their behavior makes other people feel. Whoa, whoa, ouch, oops, sorry. Wow, watch where you're going. Give me that. Hey, give that back. Oh, don't die, no. Are you gonna drop the book like I dropped yours? Of course not. I would never disrespect a book like that. I am gonna read it. Come on, Sky. Oh, and Ashley, next time, don't anger people who have knowledge to seek revenge in the form of science. <laughs>